together. Welcome to Motorwix. This time we're not uh, dealing with Lego train automation, but uh, we've come up with uh, something else. It's the funfair elements here. Uh, I've built a couple of very nice sets recently, uh, mainly to put them on my Lego train layouts, but uh, especially the roller coaster is something so special and uh, that I have added some advanced automation to it and I'd like to show you how it goes in this video. The roller coaster from Lego is one of the best sets I've built in my whole life. It actually took me a whole day uh, together with my children uh, to uh, make it ready. And uh, it works pretty well actually, but it has two little problems and I'd like to show you what those problems are. The first one is that the vehicles sometimes don't pass this uh, curve. They just don't make it onto the chain and stop here. And when they do, uh, then they stay in this position until the next sketch comes, bumps from behind and push it onto the main chain and uh, unfortunately this situation can only be healed by pushing uh, the sledges manually onto the main chain so that's not what we want of course and the second uh, problem is that the sledges um, don't have exactly the same speed it's, it's like uh, with a car uh, on the road, uh, there are never two cars that have, that have exactly the same speed. And um, for this reason, the distance between the sledges is getting smaller and smaller because the, the faster car is catching up with the slow. And um, to overcome this problem, we have built... Come on. To overcome this problem, we have built a small wheel here. It's similar to the wheels uh, in the top curve to uh, make the sledges go around the top curve here. Uh, and we've attached this wheel to a Lego Mindstorms motor. This is also uh, attached to a sensor here and to the main EV3 module. The sensor detects a sledge in that area the computer makes sure that the distance to the preceding sledge is uh, kept and then the wheel pushes the sledge uh, onto the main chain. And how this is working, I'm going to show you now. working pretty well. After a while you are looking for new challenges of course uh, so we ordered some additional parts to build a third sledge. Um, having three sledges on this roller coaster is not so easy because there is then a lot of vehicles at the same time on the tracks so you need some additional um, distance logic here. 
and uh, what is best suited for the task. Of course, the station where people are getting in and out. And uh, uh, this is uh, the reason why we have used that uh, starter wheel here, uh, which is built in the original set anyways. Attached a Lego Mindstorms motor to that wheel uh, and uh, uh, thus having a start and stop position in more or less the middle of the roller coaster. Uh, by using this, uh, uh, well, stop position, we are able to operate three, three sledges in a controlled way at the same time. And how this is working, I'm going to show you now. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in those Lego automation uh, topics, especially Lego train automation, of course, make sure you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and also navigate to my Facebook profile. It's also Matsu Bricks, easily to find. Uh, press on the like it button to make sure that you don't miss any uh, interesting information on Lego train automation, if that's interesting for you, of course. Thank you very much for watching, so long and have a nice time.